Get down, turn around, go to town, Patrick Peterson, boogie. That's right, Patrick Peterson returning for his 12th season in the National Football League, re-upping with the Vikings one-year deal, and he's already established that he's a leader. Uh, plus, he's already established that he still has some gas left in the tank. Last year in 13 games, I think he played sublime, uh, given his age and given the circumstances. This year, uh, Kevin O'Connell and the new training staff, they're going to keep mileage off him, plus a new change in scheme uh, could really bring out the best the best, the best of what Patrick Peterson still has to offer uh, at his advanced age. So, uh, Star Tribune, Andrew Kramer, Patrick Peterson likes the Vikings' plan to switch to zone-heavy defensive scheme because Zimmer's defense has primarily been man, 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 and Patrick Peterson back in the day, was one of the best man-to-man, -man, belt buckle to belt buckle, traveling with wide receiver ones, cornerbacks in the league, and the fact that he's embracing it, it tells you a lot of things. Number one, he's humble. Number two, he's aware. Number three, he's going to get after it. Because Patrick Peterson, even in zone, maybe he doesn't have that agility to stick with wide receiver ones and travel anymore, but he still has uh, an amazing ability to pattern recognize what's going on with the receivers as well as reading quarterbacks, and uh, he can still make plays. He's still going to be a ball hawk, uh, and I, I think that he can still bring a lot of that to the table as starting outside cornerback uh, in the zone. This is the way he said. Peterson, who has thrived in man-to-man -man coverage for much of his career, also said uh, playing in corner at Dantel's zone-heavy defense will limit his mileage. Quote, it's definitely taken a lot of stress off my body, Peterson said. The opportunity to see a lot of things unfold versus always having to, uh, to seem like I'm running for my life almost every play for 60 minutes of a football game. Now it's a change of scenery for sure. Playing with a little more depth, playing with vision against uh, every guy that's on the football field allows guys on the defensive side of the ball to make plays. And when you're sitting in zone, you're watching the quarterback, you're watching everything unfold in front of you. You're not playing press man, you're not getting all up in there. Now, there'll still be elements of that, yes, uh, but instead of turning and running and reading the wide receiver, you'll be able to scan the whole field. And Peterson, uh, with his uh, wealth of football knowledge, uh, I think that he is going to bring a, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of talent, bring a lot to the table uh, in that new role. Plus, uh, talking about mentoring, he's already established that he's mentoring the cornerbacks, but he's also mentoring the offensive side of the ball. He's talking with the receivers. Uh, Wes Phillips talked about it yesterday. Sherlock Hall of Famer. Er. Not only uh, the actual physical reps against him, but you know, uh, you guys know how Patrick, uh, Pat P is. He's a guy that's talking to guys both on defense, the corners over there. He's telling them his experiences. And then talking to young wideouts saying, hey, here's how I jumped that route, et cetera. So he's just passing on all of that knowledge that he's accumulated over his career at LSU in Arizona, here with the Vikings. He's passing it on to the next generation of cornerbacks and wide receivers. Because, uh, again, not only practicing one-on-one, -on -one, iron sharpens iron, but breaking it down afterward. Like, here's what he sees. Here's what he did. Here's what he's doing. Uh, it, it's amazing uh, the resources that these young wide receivers have because not only – do you have Keenan McCardle, who's one of the best young wide receiver coaches in the game? Plus, you got Patrick Peterson, a cornerback who's been there, done that, been matched up man to man, uh, belt buckle to belt buckle against some of the best wideouts in the game over the last decade plus. So, yeah. You can learn a thing or two from Patrick Peterson. And yes, jokes aside, last year, I mean, Peterson, maybe a little bit older, whatever, but he, he maybe he's not that all-pro, Pro Bowl cornerback like he was back in the day, but he still has some good football left in him. And I do think that this, uh, uh, this changing of the scheme not only from a 4-3 to a 3-4, but for the secondary, playing a lot more zone as opposed to man-to-man, -man, I think that could be the fountain of youth for him. Because during his time in Arizona, as well as uh, uh, partially during his time here in Minnesota, it was about man-to-man, man-to-man, man-to-man. Now, I, I do think that Zimmer and Peterson were smart last year. They had Peterson just play a single side as opposed to traveling, uh, and the Vikings did scale back the amount of man versus zone, although they're still uh, primarily a heavy man team. And the fact that it's going to be zone, zone, zone this year, uh, allowing the pass rush to get home, as well as uh, the, the corners uh, being able to sit back and make some plays. Uh, I think that Peterson, I mean, it might be the fountain of youth. And also the fact that O'Connell and the new training staff have uh, incorporated a lot more rest days for veterans like Patrick Peterson, like Harrison Smith, uh, like Jesse Davis. Uh, it's smart because you want to keep your guys Fresh, late into the season, late in games, late in everything, especially since this team does have eyes uh, for a deep uh, playoff run. And the fact that you know, the Vikings cornerback room was its weakness earlier uh, before free agency and the draft, and now it's starting to look like one of its strengths because Peterson is playing great. Dancer uh, is really stepping up yet again. Uh, and then you got Booth and Evans, uh, the two rookies who are, are ready for greatness. Plus you got Sean Don working the slot. So feeling pretty good. Uh, it, it, it's so weird. It's like 
Everything is starting to come together. I feel a little bit itchy, but Patrick Peterson, I, I think that we may we may see the best that Patrick Peterson has to offer this season. I think that he – could he ascend back to being a Pro Bowl type player uh, in this new scheme? Could he sit back there uh, and using his instincts and ball hawking ability and come away with five, six interceptions, renaissance, get back to the Pro Bowl? It's possible. But, of course, he won't play the Pro Bowl because he got to play the Super Bowl. Bah, 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 that old thing. But uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Patrick Peterson embracing the schematic move to more of a zone defense. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.